Today I'm going to talk about list, set and dictionary comprehensions. So let's begin with list comprehension first. List comprehension provides a way to transform one list into another. And the same definition applies for set and dictionary comprehension as well. Let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, if you have this kind of numbers array, and let's say you want to find out even numbers in this list. So what you're doing essentially is you are generating a new list which has only even numbers from this list. Using a traditional for loop, you will do something like this. You will just iterate through your original list and you will check if a number divided by two yields a zero reminder, then you will just append that to a new list. And that works. But here you're writing three lines of code. List comprehension provides you a way of writing the same code in one line. You can do e1 equal to i for i in numbers if i person 2 equal to 0. And when you do that, you get the same result. So this thing is essentially same as this three line of code. Here you're writing your for loop. Here is your condition. And here is the output that you want to put in this resultant list. So uh, you can see here it, the syntax is very compact. So it can reduce number of lines in your code. And it is much more readable and easy to understand. What if you want to generate square of all these numbers? You can do that by doing this. I can say i cross i for i in numbers. So here I don't have any if condition and I'm just iterating to the list and generating a new list which is a square of original numbers. So one, one, two square is four, three square is nine and so on. Okay, let's cover uh, set comprehensions now. Uh, in Now, if you don't know about set already, set is an unordered collection of items, uh, unique items basically. So the basic difference between list and set is that set is unordered and it doesn't allow you to contain duplicate items. So for example, uh, this is how you create set. You can pass a list to a set so if I say one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and if I pass, let's say duplicate numbers. Uh, so here you can see two and three are repeated. It will just clean them out. So you will get a unique numbers in this list. Now I want to do the same thing. I want to generate another set which has only even numbers. So the syntax is exactly same except that instead of using square bracket you are using a curly bracket here so i will just do the same thing so just copy paste this line here and when you print even you can see here it has only even numbers okay now here there is a six because i use numbers array instead of s so if i use s you will not even see the number six okay so two and four okay now let's talk about dictionary comprehensions let's say you have two lists so one the first list is the list of the cities and the second list is the list of the countries that those cities belong in now you want to create a dictionary where the key is name of the city and the value is a country name you can do this easily using a dictionary comprehension now before we go into dictionary comprehension let's talk about zip function so zip is a built-in function in python and what it will do is it will zip two lists together so if i do this it will create this z zip object which is nothing but zipped version of these two lists i can iterate through this object and if i print the elements in that you will see they are nothing but a tuples 
created by using those two original lists, right? So we're going to use zip function in our dictionary comprehension. So again, the syntax is similar to set where you use curly bracket and here you will say city colon country. Okay, so this format represents each element in a dictionary. And in dictionary, as you know, there is a key and after colon there is a value so here now i will say for city country in zip cities countries okay if i print d then you can see that it generated city country dictionary all right that was all about comprehensions uh, remember comprehensions are a very powerful and unique tool in python so use it wherever possible they are very fast as well it provides excellent performance all right thank you for watching